welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about the week ahead as we do almost every single week. I say almost every single week because this year I've been factoring in vacation time. Time for myself, time for my family, time for the things, other things that is I love in my life outside of astrology and tarot and intuitive readings, which you guys know I'm so passionate about and I love to share with you. If you have my comprehensive ebook guide, this would be a great time for you to pull it out and to follow along. We are going to be talking about the week of March 15th, 2021. And um, if you don't have the book, that's totally fine. You don't have to download it. You'll still gain a lot of information and clarity by following along with me in this video without the book. But I will link it down below so that you can not only plan and prepare for this week ahead, but the rest of the week, the full and new moon cycles, and then some and then some. I think it's like a seven minute download. It's not that long of a download, but the information in there is totally vital and already the predictions that I've put out are already manifesting, of course, and it was just such a cool project and an honor to be able to share this with you guys for the first time this year. So I want to invite you to go ahead and check that out. Feel free to pause the video and download it quick if you need to. Again, I'll link it down in the comments and also in the description box. All right, that's a mouthful. Let's go ahead and talk about this week ahead. So one of the first things that's standing out to me that I have to talk to you guys about is the fact that Mercury is moving out of the sign of Aquarius and into the sign of Pisces on March 15th, roughly around 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And what this does is it pulls us out of this out-of-the-box thinking where we almost get a vibe of rebellion, which is not necessarily a bad thing. It's actually pretty cool. So what when Mercury was moving to the sign of Aquarius, it was really challenging our thinking to make us, not only our thinking, it was challenging our thinking and our conversations and how we identify and relate to others, how our messages are coming across in order to kind of switch the dynamic of our relationships and then ultimately the relationship of the world. So if you're brand new to the channel, you guys, I talk about the intimate details of our lives, meaning what you can expect in your day-to-day -day experience, but I also talk a lot about the grand scale, bigger picture of predictions like global things, um, global politics, business, medicine, environmentalism, all of that, because all of that can be found within the astrology chart. So hopefully that helps for those of you guys that are trying to follow along. But as Mercury moved outside of Aquarius or moved out of Aquarius and into the sign of Pisces, which we're going to see again this week on the 15th, this is when we start to put down the boxing gloves for a little bit. Why were we wearing boxing gloves? Well, because we felt like we had to advocate. We feel like we had to speak up. We felt like we had to strike out differently from the, from the group a little bit, or we had to defend the group. Some of you guys were really, um, or if you're not feeling like you had to defend the group, you were so active in your friendship circles, you might have engaged in some uh, heated debates or interesting conversations on social media, Instagram, Facebook, etc., etc. Some of you guys might have actually needed to take a break from the social media for the last two to three weeks, and that's okay. As Mercury is now moving through the sign of Pisces, this is when our brains, our minds, start to shift into more spiritually seeking uh, answers. We want to connect back in again with the cosmos. We want to connect back into the greater picture. We want to feel the connection to the divine, this higher power. And not only is this a desire to connect to higher spirit, but it's also a desire to connect with others and communicate with others to bring our connections, our relationships to a higher level of compassion, of kindness, of consideration. So it's so interesting because our brains, our minds, how we are thinking, what we're speaking went from advocacy and showing up for others into now this shift into you know, I now that I'm understanding and hearing your side and seeing your perspective, I, I have an, an empathetic approach to it. And it can really change your life for the better, for the bigger. Um, and why bigger? Because Pisces, this energy of Pisces, wants to go into not only advocating for the world and understanding the world, but healing the world and also healing yourself, healing your relationships, healing your life, healing your world. So... On top of that, another thing that is standing out to me with Mercury moving into the sign of Pisces, your dream activity is going to skyrocket. Why? Because 
Pisces connects to the subconscious. It rules that element behind the scenes of our minds, the veil that kind of shrouds how we're able to look at things. Some things that could be hidden from us are things that are not easily understood unless we go into that darkened state of being through our meditation, through our dream work, through um, ritual, whatever our process is, and then the veil kind of pushes back and we're like, holy crap, there's a whole world outside of what it is that I can see with my physical eyes. So that's the energy that we're going to be moving into for the next three and a half weeks as Mercury is moving through the sign of Pisces. It's going to be absolutely beautiful. It's going to be absolutely stunning. At the same time, I really want to warn you guys that you know, when you are entering into this dream state or stepping into, you know, your intentions ultimately kind of manifesting or you're speaking them into life because it's another thing too that I'm seeing with Mercury moving to the sign of Pisces, your energy is going to be way more vulnerable. You want to be very protective of how your energy feels and what is coming into your space. The very opposite of Pisces is Virgo, and Virgo rules discernment. The reason why is because if we are consuming, you know, music or opinions of others or images of the outside world that are projections of expectations that are on us, it can really hinder your ability to connect with the divine, to connect with your higher self, to connect with this ultimate grand vision that it is that spirit sees for your life or that's written within your chart because your your own intuitive images are getting mixed and meshed with the the noise of the outside world or the voices of your family or your friends or the the thoughts and the beliefs of your that you know that you're grown into that you that aren't necessarily yours but you're holding on to them if that makes any sense um for everybody it's different but for the most part it's the more that you take the time to develop your psyche, your intuitive self, and your psychic self, the more that you will be able to discern and distinguish what is the right path for you versus what the outside noise is saying. Now, I'm saying outside noise, but some of that noise is actually inside. It's the chatter of the mind, the racing of those thoughts. So this is a great time starting this week for you to be able to focus and prioritize separating, at least setting the intention to separate what others are thinking, what others are doing, the chatter of the mind from what your spirit is going to be calling to you and speaking to you. This is a great time this week to start not only setting intention, but watching them kind of manifest and watching them unfold. The reason why I see this and the reason why I'm saying this is because Mercury rules communication. It rules our thought. But with communication, it's the, the things that we're thinking, our thoughts, and the words that we speak, the words that we speak totally can change and transform our entire world in ways that is very beautiful and also ways that is very destructive. So when you start to get these visions and these dreams and these prophecies and these messages that are just, they just feel so unbelievable. They feel like a wish fulfilled. They feel so healing and cathartic to your spirit. Or maybe it's something that you've been waiting on and finally this week it manifests, it materializes. You hear the dream words, yes, you know? Um, so when you start to hear that and you start to see that, your world will open up, your world will shift. And that leads me to my next thing that is I'm seeing. On March 21st, around 10 o'clock in the morning, 10 a.m., uh, the sun is finally going to enter into the sign of Aries. And what this is, it's, um, it's technically an astrological new year. It's the start of the zodiac calendar, right? And Aries opens the door really, really wide, swings it big, wide open, and says, okay, have the confidence to know who you are, to know what you want, and to take that step forward. This is a time when I'm going to start seeing a lot of you guys launching new businesses, coming out of the closet. I don't know why that's something that came through, but really stepping out and saying, this is who I am. This is my belief. This is who I love. This is how I love. This is what I'm about. This is what's written in the stars for me. I am not ashamed. I am calling this into life. I am speaking my truth. I am the highest level of vibration of love and in light that comes from this divine source of being. All of these things are things that you are truly stepping into. And it's the, the, the 
blessing of Mercury moving through Pisces that gives you that glittering, glittering, sparkling energy that says you can do it and you speaking your truth and you speaking your vision or you hearing this news or you receiving this information is going to open the door for you on this next journey, this next path of life. Now, as I'm saying that, you guys, I need you to know that Mars, the planet of action, your ambition, what you're able to do and how you're able to do it, will be sextile Chiron. Chiron is in the sign of Aries and has been for quite some time now. So Chiron is the wounded, the wounded healer, the asteroid point that shows us the spots that we have to really kind of address and heal um, so that we can change and shift ourselves into this next state of higher being where we are defining ourselves. This is who I am definitively, just knowing who it is that you are and having the confidence in that and realizing what makes you unique, what makes you strong and what makes you above the regular standard, right? So as when I say that we are as human beings, there's a standard of all of us. Like we have, for most of us, we have two arms, two legs, whatever, like these basic things. There might be some adjustments there right? Everyone's kind of different, but that's kind of like the, the standard that comes as a human being. But then on, on to layer on top of that, this is when we get our unique strengths, our unique weaknesses. And if we are lucky or we're just born into a really easy and effortless life, we have a lot of conversations that we hear throughout our childhood saying, listen, what makes you weak is your gift. What makes you strong is also your gift. You learn how to work with both of them so that you can be the biggest, contribute to the world in a way that is the biggest blessing. And all this needs to come from a space of love and light, right? So from a space of true unconditional loving, but also unconditional and loving to, towards yourself. So as we're stepping into these new state of beings and really defining our ourselves in ways that makes us strong, makes us centered, makes us focused, makes us guided. Mars sextile Chiron here is also saying, listen, how you move, the way you move is very, very important and vital to not only your path, but, it, but your progress as well. Make sure that you do have healthy boundaries here. Make sure that you are independently asking the questions to your higher self, to the divine, or consulting your astrology chart to get a map and a good read of exactly what is that you should be doing. Again, these are questions, well, these are answers to questions that can only be answered from within you, okay? No one else can tell you whether something is a vibrational match for you or whether it isn't. And if you find yourself in situations that is toxic or draining, that is not in alignment with your path, it is going to be up to you to say, this does not feel right. I know that this is not what is written for me in my chart. This is not a vibrational match and I got to pull myself out of this or I got to say no. As I'm saying that, you guys, I want to draw your attention to these two cards that as I pulled, we have the Nine of Cups and we also have the Strength card from the Mermaid Tarot, which I will link down below. And also we have the cards Happy Happy, The Fates, Serendipity, and the card Time to Go. Now this is from, I forget, A Wisdom of the Oracle by Colette Baron reed But again, these are cards that are telling me that I'm almost hearing glass half full, right? But it's more than half full. So what do I mean by that? And what is the message for me to give to you from spirit? So we have a, like with the nine of cups, right? There's nine cups here. And each one of them are different things that emotionally fulfill us, that emotionally kind of tick the box for us. So the glass is pretty full. It's more than half full, actually. And I'm seeing this week that it is fated for you to kind of assess, intuitively assess what your life looks like and begin to re um, recreate and rearrange this ultimate bigger picture that you are intuitively receiving and feeling within your spirit. This can come in the form of vision boarding. This can come in the form of action steps. This can come in the form of scripting. And I can link those videos down for you below of things that I have done that have worked for me, that helped me to manifest, or calling in, you know, you know, through your intentions, setting, you know, working with magic, or whatever the case is. Everyone's gonna be different. 
or prayer, Archangel Michael prayers, everyone's gonna be different. Again, all these things I'm talking about, I can link below if you need the resources for them, okay? But really what is I'm seeing is kind of truly reassessing, okay, this is what I really like and I want to take with me into this next cycle. Again, you have until um, March 21st, I'm sorry, I'm looking at the chart again, March 21st, 20, around 10 a.m., in order to work with the timing of the planets. This is again when Sun enters in the sign of Aries and the start of the next cycle begins. Again, I want to hear what it is that you guys are saying and experiencing because like I said, there is going to be a lot of people who are entering into the next cycle in their lives. They're getting married, they're getting engaged, they're buying houses, they're moving. They are quitting their jobs and starting their businesses. They are giving birth to children. There's a lot of newness that's happening here. And as that is happening, you guys, you want to assess what you're taking with you into this next life. Or yeah, and by life, I mean this next chapter in your book. Because there's some things that as you are, before you enter into this next cycle, there are some things that you will have to throw out and the universe will actually usher it out of your life whether you like it or not. And that can be very painful. It can also be outside of our control, but you have to trust the serendipity of it all. You have to trust, you know, how faded things are. Truly, that they they're really are faded. And that's where this strength card truly comes in, this reminder that there are some things that are outside of our control, but our true strength, our true strength comes in the form of our faith and our kindness and our compassion and our our desire to come back to a space of love regardless of what's happening in our lives and be welcoming and excited for the next stage and cycle in our journey because from what I can see, it's going to be amazing. All right, you guys, thank you so much for following along. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from and I'll see you in my next one. Be blessed. Bye.